Okay, what if having abs or being lean was actually likely to cause you to have a heart attack, right? That, that, that doesn't make sense on the surface, right? There's not, uh, you know, lines and lines of people with ripped abs walking around uh, having heart attacks. It just does not occur. Uh, you can talk to really any cardiothoracic surgeon or any cardiologist. That is not the typical person that has <clears throat> cardiovascular disease. And so a new, state, a new study just came out. It was performed by uh, Dr. Isabella Cooper, one of her first PhD uh, studies. And what it does is it confirms some of the other things we've been seeing, the so-called lipid energy model, which has been proposed by David Feldman and, and shown and demonstrated in several other studies, particularly this recent lean mass hyperresponder study. Well, this is another study that basically confirms that exact same uh, same condition. And uh, what do we mean by this? So what they did is they took a bunch of lean women on ketogenic diets, right? And they had been, you know, in ketosis for several years or on ketogenic diet for several years. And then they reintroduced carbohydrates. And what they saw was basically they all got fatter, <laughs> interestingly. But once they restricted the carbohydrates again, what they saw a dramatic rise in their LDL cholesterol and what predicted that? Well, some people say well, they increased, you know, they started eating ketogenic diet again, they started eating more saturated fat. Saturated fat had no bearing whatsoever on how high their cholesterol rised. It, it, it just didn't have an effect. The thing that had the biggest effect was their body composition. That is to say, the leaner they were, the more likely the LDL cholesterol was to rise. Again, this is consistent with the so-called lipid energy model, which basically postulates that as our body has less energy storage, particularly glycogen in the liver due to la lack of carbohydrates, our liver then attempts to shuttle energy into our body so the cells have energy to use in the form of fats, particularly uh, free fatty acids, triglycerides, and to include LDL cholesterol, which is part of that trafficking, trafficking process. So the mo and there's other studies that are going to be published again. Nick Norwitz's study showing Oreo cookies lower his LDL cholesterol better than statins do. You know, just just that that's the that's the proposition here. So if we know this lipid energy model seems to be actually holding up and, and is being experimentally shown to be, you know, true or it's consistent with that, the question then becomes, is the fact that when your LDL cholesterol goes up due to this phenomenon, is it the same thing when it goes up for say some other reason, right? So inherently, if I become leaner, if I become less diabetic, if I become less hypo hypertensive, if my metabolic syndrome goes away, if my inflammation goes away, and everything gets better, everything that we would tr traditionally consider a protective factor for cardiovascular disease occurs, and our LDL cholesterol is going up for this lipid energy model, is that indeed harming us? <clears throat> and the answer to that is, we don't know yet, but evidence seems to be, and we'll know more soon, that it perhaps is not. Right? So again, this isn't a get out of jail free card for everybody that has high LDL cholesterol. But what it is, is that if you are lean and metabolically healthy or getting healthier, then that rise in cholesterol may not be as concerning as some people would have us believe. Right? That's simply what it says. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Congratulations on Dr. Cooper and the others, uh, Adrian Sotomoda and the other authors on here uh, for, for publishing this, this great study. More to come. This is an exciting year. Um, a lot of stuff's going to happen in the next year or so, guys. So I'm excited about this. Hopefully, we'll start to have a better understanding on, you know, how nutrition impacts us and maybe be able to sort of make better predictions and better protect. There's other people that just want to blanket everybody. All, you know, it's, it's you know, the, the world's a nail and I got a hammer. I'm going to hit everybody with the same hammer. That is wrong think. That is... Uh, uh, you know, in many, many, many cases harmful. So anyway, the good thing about this, you know, you've got a lot of physicians out there that are frustrated that everybody doesn't line up like a sheep and take their, take their, you know, uh, whatever, take their medicine like, like we're telling you to. We need a whole population. We, we need to put statins in the water. That's something I heard as a medical student way back in the 19, uh, the late 1980s. Statins should be in the water, right? That's wrong in my view. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. You guys have a great one.